By the end of this video, you will be able to change your voice in the software Audacity. Let's get started. So you're going to want to have Audacity open, and I already have a voice track ready to go for this walkthrough, but you'll want to have yours open. If you have a recording that has multiple layers, maybe some instruments or some background music or those kinds of things, and you want to separate the vocals so you can work on just the voice, I have another video that shows you how to do that. I'll put a link to it here. So let's take a listen to this audio and see what it sounds like now. Welcome to this outstanding video on how to change your voice in Audacity. Okay, so you can hear what my voice sounds like in this short clip. And so now we can start having some fun with this short clip so you can see all the different things that you can do to change your voice in Audacity. So first you're gonna to wanna to select the part of the clip that you want to alter. And so you can do that by having the selection tool highlighted and then you can just select it this way and that will work. Or you can select the entire clip and to do that, you can go over to the left-hand side, somewhere in this gray area, you just click right there and you'll see it selects the entire clip. So now that I have the entire clip selected, I would like to change parts of this. The way to do this is mostly found in the effects. So up at the top, you can click on effect and you can see there are different things you can do to it. Now, depending on what version of Audacity you are using, this might look different. I have the newest version, it's 3.2.4. So what you might have might look a little different. And so if I go to edit and then preferences, I can actually make this look like the old versions of Audacity. You go down to effects on the bottom and then just click on sorting or grouping. And I can just do a sorted by effect name. If I press okay, now when I do that, now the effects, you might have something that looks like this, like a long list of effects. So, but I wanna point out that whatever you are looking at, they have the same names. So when I click on Amplify, it's the same in my version as it is in your version. So now I have the clip selected. I'm gonna click on Effect. And the, the main things you're gonna to wanna to do to it mostly are probably gonna be pitch and speed or tempo. I go to pitch and tempo and I click on change pitch. Now this is going to make it sound higher or lower. Okay, so you can see that there are several ways to change the pitch here. The easiest way is actually on the bottom. There's this uh, little tab that you can move to the left or the right. So if I move this to the left, my voice is gonna get lower. If moved to the right, it will get higher. So I'm gonna go a little higher and you can preview before you apply it to the file. So I'm gonna go ahead and press preview. Welcome to this outstanding video on how to change your voice in Audacity. And so you can see it's very high. Uh, that's probably a little higher than I would wanna go. Um, let's try a lower one so you can see what that sounds like. Welcome to this outstanding video on how to change your voice in Audacity. <laughs> All right. It's always so funny to hear your voice in different ways. So again, you have a lot of fun with this. Um, I'm going to go somewhere in the middle here, maybe something like this. I'll preview that. Welcome to this outstanding video. That sounds pretty good. And then I'm going to press apply. So now I have that applied to the sound file. Now I'm going to go back up to effects and I'm going to look at the speed. So there's change speed and there's change tempo. If I press change speed, you're going to get what sounds like a chipmunk effect. And you might be going for that with your recording. Um, I'll show you what that means. So I press preview here. Welcome to this outstanding video on how to change your voice in Audacity. So it sounds kind of, again, uh, most people think of it as like a chipmunk if I go much higher. Welcome to this outstanding video on how to change your voice in Audacity. Okay, so that changed my speed, but let's say I would like to change the speed without distorting the voice, or without making it sound like a chipmunk. If you'd like to do that, go up to effect, and then you're going to click on the pitch and tempo again, but this time click change the tempo. So by using this one, the percent changes is listed here. So I'm gonna go ahead and increase that. Anything over zero, you're increasing the speed. Anything below zero, you're decreasing the speed. So I'm gonna change this and I'm gonna make it go faster. Welcome to this outstanding video on how to change your voice in Audacity. So you can see it's going faster than I was before, but it did not change it to make it sound like a chipmunk. So if I wanna go a lot faster, Welcome to this outstanding video on how to change your voice in Audacity. So I'll go something with there and then I'm gonna press apply. Okay, so you see whenever I did that, it shortened the clip because now it's a shorter clip than it was before. So that's just something to keep in mind uh, whenever you change the speed or the tempo. There are a lot of different effects that you can use to change your voice in Audacity. And I'll cover a couple more here in this video, but I have another beginner's tutorial on how to use Audacity that covers a little more of this in detail. So I'll put a link to it here. One effect that you may want to use on your voice recording is to add some reverb to it. And so it'll sound like it was spoken in a room. So I'm gonna go up to effect and then I'm going to go to delay and reverb and I'm gonna go down to reverb. So I'm gonna click on reverb and there are some presets here. I can also click on presets and settings and there are factory presets down here. And so I'm going to do the large room for this one so you can hear the difference. So I'm gonna preview this. Welcome to this outstanding video on how to change your voice to so you can see it's kind of going fast, but you can hear it sounds more like it was said in a room. So I'm gonna press apply here. You can also change how loud or soft your voice recording is. So by going to effect and volume and compression, 
So amplified, that will make it louder or softer. So let's say right now amplification is set at that. Again, anything over zero, you're increasing it. And so you'll notice as I drag this, if I go cert past a certain point, these are grayed out. What that means is that you've gone past the point where now there will be clipping in your audio, there's gonna be distortion. So it's not allowing me to do that. If you wanna have clipping or distortion, which make it pretty loud, uh, you can click on this and that'll help help you preview that. I do not want any clipping in that, so I don't wanna do that. Let's say if I want to make this softer, I would just go lower. You can see it's softer than it was before. I'm not gonna apply this one, just press X. And then if you want to undo anything that you're doing, you can just go to edit and then undo or control Z. So I encourage you to apply as many effects on your voice recording to see which each one of these does. But one more that's uh, nice, pretty fun to play with is in the EQ and filters. So what I'm gonna try here is the filter curve EQ. And so you'll see something like this. And then again, most of these have presets and settings. And so you can go over here to the factory presets. And this one has some fun ones like, um, I think there's a walkie talkie. And there's one sound like a telephone. I'm gonna press the telephone one. I'm gonna press preview. Welcome to this outstanding video on how to change your voice in so that sounds more like it was on a telephone. And also in the effects for the EQ and filters, bass and treble is also a good one. So if you wanna make it sound more bass, you can increase the bass, so that would be to the right. And then your treble, you can lower that and then preview that. Welcome to this outstanding video on how to change your voice in So that's a pretty neat effect. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that one. And last thing, if you want to create a sound file that is normalized, what means, that means is you go up to effect and then volume compression and click on normalize. What this will do is uh, when you apply this, it will make this a very even sound and it'll, it'll take it to the peak amplitude without distortion. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply and you see how larger the file is. Now, when I play this, it's gonna be louder. Welcome to this outstanding video. So it's louder, but it's not causing distortion. So that's what normalize means. And you might wanna apply that to your voice. So you now know many different ways to change your voice in Audacity. If you would like to take the next step and learn more, I have a beginner's guide and I'll put a link to it here and it walks you through step-by-step step so you'll get the most out of Audacity.